Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Road to Q School and this is the series which basically follows my progression as a pro. So I got a bit sidetracked, um, slightly went off on a tangent through lockdown as it's very easy to do. And so last week I decided that I wasn't gonna do the Road to Q School vlog as we go through lockdown because, because there's not that much I can actually do and it's sort of gonna get repetitive. So a part of video just going a bit more off tangent and talking about different things, but I had to catch myself and sort of remind myself like, what I'm actually trying to achieve. So I'm trying to progress as a golfer, I'm trying to compete. And me going off tangent, me going off course, isn't gonna help me at all. I realized that in this lockdown, however long it would be, maybe it'd be a couple months where we'd be like March, April, whatever it is, you may as well use this time productively or try to use this time productively so you actually come out of lockdown better rather than someone that's worse shape, hasn't done any swing work, ate too much, drunk too much, and just become a f Yes. If you are getting the most out of this lockdown, you're not only going to put yourself in a better position, but you're going to put your put, but you're going to put yourself like ahead of other people or certain other people as well. The title of this video is something about so like a few of the ideas: get better at golf without a golf club, improving without hitting a golf club, get better about swinging a golf club, improve your golf swing. So it's mostly about what you can do at home, especially if you don't have a net outside. If you can't really swing a golf club at all. If you can swing a golf club in the net, then even better, you can then move some of the stuff over to outside and hit some balls. Or if you've got a swing studio and you're just f in that situation, then then fair play. But stuff I want to talk about is stuff that you could do at home without a golf club to try and improve your action so that when we are locked down and you swing a golf club, the swing that you make will be better than the one you made before you put your clubs away. Right, let me show you some of the practice that I'm getting out for this lockdown. Firstly, this is gonna be where all my putting practice takes place. Obviously this needs an iron and a hoover. It's like six foot long, seven foot long, and uh, it's flat, so that'll do the job. One of the tools that I'm debating whether to use at the moment is the putting arc. Uh, I'm gonna speak to Ryan about this. I know he's not quite 100% keen on these, and he prefers to give you stuff that actually gets you doing it without forcingly putting your putter on an arc but that this may come in handy as well okay next up this one's been folded up as well for a while this is um so basically like a a swing trainer uh, which shows you the direction and where you're bottoming out so you push it all back and you can see swing direction where you're bottoming out um, and well, that's pretty much it, but it's quite a useful little tool. I used to have a discount code for this. Do you know what, I'll, I'll just go on the off chance that I still have. So if I have, this is it. This is where you can find it, link in the description. I think it's like 20% off discount. Um, so I'll be using this in the garden along with this, which is a chipping net, which I'm gonna go out and show you now. All right, so we've had a little go out here with a little pitching station. That's working really well put a little net at the end the problem is as you can probably imagine it is drenched like properly properly drenched I watch this I ignore the old rebox and then literally one lot of balls landing on the grass is just caked in shit. what I'm thinking is if I can yeah, if I can get a big enough piece of carpet like 10 yards by 10 yards then I can set up like a little pitching station up there, maybe with the net on it, maybe something else, but at the moment, that's not gonna work. In this garden as well, I am gonna try and get a mat, like a golf mat and some sort of net. So that's coming over in the next few weeks as we progress into this backyard train station. Get a few spiders in the UK, you know? I think they're dead. He might be dead. There's a big one in here somewhere. Oh, there's one at the back. He's a big one. People in Australia watching this, like, uh, I don't think so, mate. Honest, man, I've been spending like five hours a day on it. It's so addictive.
Yeah, all while listening to a podcast. I'm listening to, so I think I've exhausted the Joe Rogan list. At the moment, listening to the Lewis Morgan podcast. Those of you who don't know, Lewis Morgan is the guy that co-created Gymshark, and uh, which, well, everyone knows what it is. It was, it was valued at like over a billion this year. So yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm listening to at the moment. Some interesting stuff, mostly just about entrepreneurship and people that have built stuff up from nothing. So, but yeah, let me know what you're listening to at the moment, podcast-wise, because I'm always interested in to find that when you're at home practicing, just put a decent podcast on. Not only are you like improving, you're you're learning at the same time, which is which is key, I think. Learning is key. Uh, for those of you who watch Flowers Channel as well, you'll know there's like a this ongoing joke about how he likes to write schedules. So he'll like write a schedule, but just because he likes writing schedules, like he could write a schedule on schedule writing. But over the last few days, since I've had this like realization that I need to focus myself a bit more on the end goal rather than trying to find stuff to do during lockdown, I need to still focus on this stuff. One of the things was making the most out of my day and trying to have some routine. So I've actually written a schedule myself. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share it with you and, and go through that and then never follow it. So rather than uh, rather than writing one, then never actually following it ever again. Uh, oh. All right, before we start talking about dry gel, let's. Uh, I just want to show you this. So for those of you wanting to make a few changes over this lockdown period head to my website if you're interested in online lessons. So it's jameswalkshire.com, link will be in the bio. It doesn't look like this, why is it so whited out? Yeah, link's in the bio. Um, just head to the website, click online lesson, and uh, the price is $29.95. And then let me just show you an example of, uh, of what an online lesson looks like. So this is Thomas from the other day. Let me just mute it down. So what they do is they send me, so basically send me a couple swings from down the line and front on, or maybe some swings in the golf course as well, try and get decent angles. I'll explain it all in the document that you get. So once the swings are through, um, you also send through uh, a big paragraph of exactly who's break down your game completely. So any, what your handicap is, level is, how long you've been playing, all that stuff. Ball flight patterns, where your misses, just try and get as specific as possible, give me as much detail as possible about what is happening. And then I break down your golf swing with this software. Um, and on this, I can, we can look at your swing from both views, break it down in slow motion, start to talk about some of the things that I see, some of the breakdowns that I see causing the errors, and then we take it straight to the demonstration so I can just, yeah, show in a bit more detail what's happening, give you demonstrations for the moves that I want you to make. So just let me know if you are interested. Um, well, you don't have to let me know, you can just literally head straight to the link in bio, so let's go for it. The stuff I've done with Ryan over the last year has is, is been to steadily work out some of the, the things that are causing inconsistency not like trying to hit like a perfect model. We're just trying to improve some of the things that lead to inconsistency. So my biggest things were, firstly, I, I got the club up quite high. Um, that was one of the things I got off the ball quite a lot. So off the ball quite high. And then that led to me early extending. So from here, I mean, I've explained this quite a lot of times before, but quite high off the ball and then a, a drive early extension and a flip that to produce quite a lot of spin, quite a high ball flight um, and just generally relied on quite a lot of timing. So it's not sort of a golf swing that is going to be consistent or that consistent um, day to day. It's not like there is a perfect answer, but you can definitely make it easier. So we steadily work towards getting more central. So less movement off the ball, trying to get better movement in the lower body as well. Posture is always something that we check up on as well. I mean, last year I'd always be like in this position here where there's loads of space, I'm on my toes, glutes are stuck way out. So we try to get in a much more balanced posture, which I'm finding a lot easier to, to hit the, the positions that I need to hit. Because when you do start like this, it just encourages you to get this, it encourages you to get this way. So that's definitely helped improve my posture. The drill that he's got me doing at the moment, in fact, I'll show you. So unfortunately I haven't got the band 
um, this band, which is obviously a lot more flexible than the yellow one that I'm using here. But the idea is um, to get that hip moving correctly, nice bit of squat, and then this move here, we see the shoulders are retracted as you go through. That keeps the arms in front of the body, so it's correct movement of the lower body, and then feeling like the shoulders are back, and you turn through by getting that left hip out of the way. So my old move would always be a throw, and then lose the shoulders, but you're trying to, if you can get into this position here, where you can just turn and rotate through, keep your shoulders back. The club stays in front of you, it means the club face isn't doing this, which means you can just literally turn and rotate. Now before I went to South Africa, there was, we were in a lockdown still, and I had like a, a one week period in which I didn't swing a golf club, but I did work on some of the dry drills that I was working on, which at the time were literally just in the mirror, by the way, which is the giveaway in the thumbnail. That's, that's a mirror, that's all you need. So I was in the mirror, just making sure that I was staying nice and centered. Let's get my spine extending properly and then moving correctly. And I just went through that most days for like 15 minutes, just ingraining that movement, trying to see it and then feel it and just doing it over and over again and trying to change the movement patterns. So then I went to South Africa to Caddy for Steve, for three weeks to pick up a golf club. And then when I played him, actually my swing in just that week period, it actually made some quite nice changes. If I wanted to create like a perfect scenario on changing a specific move in the golf swing, I think more of it would be doing stuff with our golf club. So I guess you can look at lockdown, if you're serious about your golf anyway, you could look at it as you know a chance to take a break, um, to get into bad habits, to do stupid shit. It probably is the perfect time to change or modify or just improve so that you can come out of lockdown and actually play better. Obviously we've got the season coming up. At this time we're not actually allowed to play golf unless you're in Scotland and it's probably snowing anyway, so you're probably not on a golf course. So this is actually the best time to change your golf swing. Without access to a golf course, you're not gonna be playing, so that's not gonna get in the way of you trying to make changes. You can just do the drills that you need to do at home, maybe hit some balls in the garden, and actually come out of lockdown better. The way I like to do it is have a mirror, watch myself do the movement, nice and slow, get a feel for it and then sort of take the mirror away. It's just a case of like repetition, doing the right reps and doing it nice and slow and controlled and then slowly working that into a golf swing and then hitting golf balls. Let me know below what we want to go into more detail. Obviously we've got stuff, fitness stuff to do at home, which I'm doing at the moment, over speed training, which can be done for free. Other stuff, just let me know. Leave comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for continuing to watch. The people that are watching the channel, thanks a lot. We will be back on the golf course very soon. Already coming up with some big plans for 2021. As soon as we can travel, we've got some travel content um, that I'm gonna be doing with a videographer that's gonna be like up in the game massively. And I look to play as many good people as possible this year, as well as document my tournament golf, so tournament rounds, and also do this behind the scenes stuff as well. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe. This has been more serious, isn't it? Like more professional. Thanks. That was, let's not ruin it now. No more impressions or any of that shit.